Alright folks, my name is Frayne and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the new features that have come along with Ark Survival Ascended. As always, if you find this one helpful, do consider subscribing as it all helps the channel. For now, let's get started with number one, hands-free torches. It's late at night, you're wandering through the forest and you decide you want to chop down a tree for some reason. But as soon as you pull out your hatchet, the torch goes out. How will you see without it in this surprisingly well-lit forest? Well, now if you right click, it goes onto your belt. Perhaps not the best place to put a torch, I imagine it's a little warm in the crotch area, but it does leave you hands free to get whatever tools you need and get to work chopping down that tree. Moving on to number two, we have the new map system and waypoints. If we open up our inventory, you'll see there's a tab at the top here called map. Very cryptically labeled, I know, but that's the one you want to click on. And then that'll take you to this. It's not quite like the old drawn style, it's much more detailed. But let's say we want to go to the volcano. Well, double click. And now we can add a waypoint. We'll make it red. We'll uh, change the icon to that one. Oh, we we'll better name it. Volcano, obviously. And accept. And there we are, we have a waypoint. So now click it again. You hear a little noise, and now when we close our map, you'll see we have a waypoint in the world. We're going that way. That's the way. No more getting lost ever again. Three kilometers, easy. And if you want to hide it, you simply hold R as it says, and there goes your waypoint. Bring up the map again. It still exists, it's just no longer highlighted, but we can click it to put it back, click it again to take it off, or right click it, and then go to delete. And there we go, no more getting lost. And a whole list of waypoints can be found at the button in the corner. Moving on to number three, we have wild babies. Yes, one of the most talked about features of the new version. Not only does this add to the feel of the world though, but we can also tame them. So, if I run over here and uh, just remove the parent quickly. Shouldn't take much of course, it's only a low level parasaur. But once we eliminate this, the baby will start to panic. To be honest, kind of surprised it's not panicking already. But once the parent is gone... <clears throat> there we go. The baby will now panic and we can run over, press E and claim ourselves a parasol baby. Now this means no using of narcotics, no using of kibble, and we have our creature, which is fantastic. The downside is, of course, it can't fend for itself for a while, so it's not something we can immediately saddle up and use. It is, however, imprinted to us and gets all of those bonuses just as if we bred it ourselves. One brand new tamed dino featuring all mod cons. Ah, there we go. I've built myself a house, but that parasaur has wandered off. Where's it gone? Well, by opening up my inventory and going to the tracking tab, We'll see, not only can we see it there, but we can select to add point of interest. Let's click that one. There it is, not gone too far. No more losing track of your tame when you jump off midair and die. No argies left in the snow. No raptors running off chasing down targets. Simply follow the marker and there's your tame. Nice and simple. And now we've got that parasol, let's go for a little trip, shall we? Oh damn, a raptor. Ugh. Well, it's okay. I've got a saddle. That'll make the difference. All that armor really coming into my favor here. But I won't always have that armor. Because you see, we now have saddle durability. So if I open my inventory and have a look, we'll see 99 out of 100 durability. Taking damage is lowering the durability just as with the player armor. But what happens if you run out of durability. Well, it'll begin to look like this and all your friends will mock you for your poor maintenance skills. More importantly though, it will cease to provide any armor. As you can see, we can clearly still ride a creature with a broken saddle, but there is no armor effect. Moving on to number six, we have melee hitboxes. Just like all other trikes, Bob here takes reduced damage from projectiles to the face. Only eight damage there, this is 54 in the legs of flank or rear. That's quite a significant difference. But unlike Ark Survival Evolved, this now also applies to melee attacks. More damage to the head. 
29 in the flank. And this also now affects creatures. See, we're only doing 2 damage here with the Raptor. Whereas if we move around his flank, 19. Now this may not seem like a big change, but having all weak or hard points on creatures now be affected by melee, and in particular creature melee, could make a big difference, as anything which has a headshot multiplier in Ark Survival Evolved is now going to be that much easier to fight, and anything that has a hard point like the Trike or the Carbonemis is now going to be a much tougher mount if you can keep that pointed towards the enemy. Oh no, my Fiomi has made a mess of the base again. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. No, 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 no. Not to worry though, because something has changed. That's right, the Dung Beetle now has a new, long requested feature. Now in its radio wheel, there is a new option, Enable Feces Collection. When turning this on, it will instantly and continually pick up any poo in the area, even going well beyond its weight limit. It'll still need setting to wandering in order to convert it to fertilizer, but that is a wonderful change. On a similar note, when breeding creatures, do you ever find yourself missing some of those fertilized eggs? Often because one creature's cooldown was only two hours, whereas another was three. Well, I'm sure you can see where this is going. Yes, the Oviraptor is your new hero. Again, if we look at the radio wheel, we now see egg collection as a new option. Able to choose between collecting nothing, unfertilized, fertilized, or any egg. And as soon as we turn it on, there we are. It's picked it up. And if we check its inventory, there it is. A lovely fertilized parasaur egg. And a whole lot more appeal for an often forgotten creature. Now if you spend any time doing foraging in Ark Survival Ascended, I'm sure you'll notice there's three new berry types. That's the Verdberry, the Cyanberry, and the Magenberry. And if we go to the cooking pot, we'll see exactly what these are used for, because there is a whole new list of dyes. You can see loads of categories there. Let's have a look at green. We get the new Mint, Chateau, Celadon, Pistachio, Grass, Nori, Hunter, Emerald, and Green. And turning off folder view will show us just how many new dyes there are. There is absolutely tons to pick from, a huge collection no matter whether you plan to decorate your house or simply dye your friend's hair in their sleep. Moving on to number 9, if you open your inventory you will now see a dedicated pet slot down here. This is for chibis, no longer do they take up the offhand slot. And you can find any chibis you happen to have in the cosmetics tab. Here we can see we're carrying three right now, so let's put one on. But that isn't all, there is also a chibi display platform. If we come over here, we can press E to store whichever chibi we are currently using. See, there's Flap, he's even got his name on it. If we don't have one currently equipped however and we press E, it gives us a list of them to pick from. Let's put down the Rex. Not my favourite colours I have to admit, but we can go even further here. By pressing E, we can make them play a little animation. Pet your chibis! Look at them, aren't they cute? And going further, if we then hold E and go to take Chibi, it not only will take it out, but it will automatically equip it as well. And lastly for today, we have the new buff or debuff panel. Whether you've been chugging soups, drinking milk, or simply got a new status effect on it that you've not yet encountered and you want to know what it does. Well, now at the bottom of your inventory, there is a Show Buffs button, which brings up a handy little panel listing every buff you've got, their timer, and their effect. Now, I'm sure some of you from Survival Evolved are now wondering what the point in this is, because you could always see this by holding down the H key, but that's no longer there. Now it just says the name, not the effect. So, this is an important thing to note. But at that, we come to the end of today's video. I'll be back with more new features as soon as we find them, but for now, thank you all very much for watching, I hope this has been of some use, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.